I have so many unread books. It is embarrassing. Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Uh, welcome to another video. This video is one that I film every year. It is all of my unread books of the year. This is going to be all of my unread books from 2018. It's a little bit late, sorry, but it's okay. I'm doing it now. So yeah, I really like to film these videos every year because I like to look back and see the books that I have read, the books that I have not read, and then I like to see what I really need to prioritize. And last year I did really bad. I looked back on the video and I only read about 20 of my physical unread books. Everything else was either new books that I purchased, books that were sent to me by publishers, or um, ebooks, digital Kindle books that I had read. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself in that area that I haven't really made a dent in my own books. So I'm really going to try my best to read as much as I can on my physical shelf this year. I've read four so far, um, and I'm on my fifth. So I think I'm doing well as a start. Let's hope that just keeps going, but we'll see. These are all of my unread books. It's a lot. I know, you can judge me. Let's begin. The first book that I have, Snow City by G.A. Catherines. You can't really see the cover because the lighting's horrible. This is a self-published, indie published book that I was sent by the author. Next we have Down the River Unto the Sea by Walter Mosley. I have Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I have The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. This is actually my older sister's book who let me borrow it. I still haven't read it. Sorry Kelly if you're watching this I will read it eventually. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Now uh, you're probably saying what? I thought you read it. I got about halfway through this or more than halfway and then I just forgot about it. So honestly I need to go back and reread it and then finish the book. When is that gonna be? Because this is a giant book. I don't know. I don't know. I just wasn't that into this book as I thought I was going to be. So Donna Tartt, I'm a little disappointed. Little disappointed. Peter Fruchin's Book of the Seven Seas. This is a hunker of a nonfiction about the sea. But I will get to it someday, okay? I will. Next, I have Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, uh, The Pianist by an author whose name I cannot, for the life of me, pronounce. I've only seen the film, but I really want to read the book. Uh, next, I have Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. I really want to get to this one this year. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Really want to get to that as well. Text by Essie Hinton, who wrote The Outsiders. I have one that I am still in the middle of. Uh, I should have read it by now, but it's The Norton Book of the Sea by, edited by John O'Coot. This is like a slow one that I've just picked up here and there whenever I felt like it, but I will get through it someday. Um, and next I have Noir, Noir Gold. Uh, this is the second book in the Pirate Captain Chronicles of a Legend series, perhaps. I think it's a trilogy. This is by Carrie Lynn. I have Earthly Powers by Anthony Burgess. You can't see it because it's so white. Uh, there we go. Uh, the End of Nature by Bill McKibben. Sudden Sea, The Great Hurricane of 1938 by Ari Scott. E. Scotty. I don't know. Watership Down by Richard Adams. I really want to read Watership Down. It just looks like one of those books that I should read. American Pastoral by Philip Roth. Uh, not the biggest Philip Roth fan. I've only read one of his books, but I will give that one a chance. The Plague by Albert Camus. Charlie Bone and the Invisible Boy by Jenny Nimmo. Nemo? Who knows? Ha uh ha. -huh. That joke is old. Okay. Death Takes a Holiday by Jennifer Harlow. I don't know why I still have this because the, the previous book I didn't enjoy at all. I thought it was awful. Friday Night Lights by H.G. Basinger. I don't know if I'm ever going to read this to be honest with you guys. I just, it does not seem interesting to me. Do I really like football? Not really. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I need to read this. I really need to read this. I want to know, just I want to know what it is about Brandon Sanderson that everyone loves and I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I'm missing out so much. So I need to pick that one up this year. This is a must. Erica, if you're watching this, read Mistborn. And then I have English Passengers by Matthew Neal. This is one that I really wish I would have picked up by now, but again, I haven't because I am 
a failure. Uh, okay, then we have all of these Jack Sparrow books that I still have not gotten through. What is wrong with me? I have books 8 through 12 here, so maybe this year I'll read through the rest of them. I have Brain on Fire by Susanna Call Callahan? I don't know. Callahan. Uh, this is one that was given to me by a co-worker, um, or rather she let me borrow it, but then she stopped working at the place and disappeared, and I never heard from her again, so I don't know how to give her her book back, but um, I'll get to that someday. Uh, next I have Pirate Queen, The Life of Grace O'Malley, a non-fiction book about uh, Grace O'Malley, which I would like to get to. I have Middle Men by Jim Gavin. This is a collection of short stories that I would like to read someday. Um, I have this collection of Edgar Allan Poe, Edgar Allan Poe, Great Tales and Poems. Poe, I should read this, but I, you know, started to, I started to. Oh, that's where my Herman Melville bookmark went. I thought I lost this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is where it was the entire time. This is my favorite bookmark and I thought I lost it. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy right now. Okay, forget you, Poe. I'm taking this bookmark back. We're gonna set it right here. Um, I need to go grab more books. Be right back. Okay, I grabbed a lot more, so here we go. More. Uh, the Plover by Brian Doyle. Small Steps by Lewis Satcher. My hair is a disaster. Okay. Uh, Two Years Before the Mast by Richard Henry Richard Henry Dana Jr. Vampires Immortal War. This is book six. Book six. When am I? I need to finish that series. Blood of the Tiger, a story of conspiracy, greed, and the battle to save a magnificent species by J.A. Mills. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane by Henry Farrell. This was a gift from my cousin. I need to read it. I must read it. In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Phil Philbrick. Philbrick. Um, great stories. Uh, of the Sea and Ships, edited by N.C. Weth, Weth, I don't know, illustrated by Peter Hurd. This book looks so gorgeous. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Um, I'm not that excited to pick this one up, honestly, because I, I still haven't gotten through the Goldfinch. Someone convinced me otherwise. The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar... Wow? Oscar something by Hino Diaz. I have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Uh, the Golden Age of Piracy by Hugh R. Frank... Franken? Franken. White Oleander by Janet Fitch. Janet Fitch. This is a giant book. I really want to read this one, but also I hear that it's really sad and I just don't want to cry. I don't want to cry and I feel like that might make me cry. The Edge of the Sea by Rachel Carson. Uh, I have Henry, Henry, Herman Melville. I have Billy Budd and Other Stories, which is one that I've had for a long, long time. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Gotta read that, Alice in Wonderland. Blue Bird, Blue Beard, Blue Beard by Kurt Vonnegut. The Shadow Line by Joseph Conrad, which, I'm not really interested in Joseph Conrad. I just bought it because there's a boat on the cover, but I will read it someday. Rant by Chuck Palahniuk. I'll get to this one this year, I think. Chuck Palahniuk, meh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Watch That Ends the Night by Hugh McLennan. McLennan, McLennan. Um, I need to read this one too. It's been on my shelf forever. Fluke by Christopher Moore. There's a whale that speaks in this one and that talks to humans, so I gotta read it. By the Open Sea by August Strindberg, I think. Pirates and Piracy by E. Kebble Chatterton. Uh, the Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Gabriel Garcia Marquez's In Evil Hour. I don't know anything about this one. Captain Courageous, Courageous by Rudyard Kipling. Master of the World by Jules Verne. Curse of the Blue Tattoo by L.A. Meyer. I really need to read the Bloody Jack series, more of them, because I've just read the first. I think I'm gonna reread the first and then binge all the other books that I own. 
that would be fun. I think that'll be fun. You can't see off to the side, but there's just a pile of books and it is a complete disaster. I'm gonna have so much fun cleaning this up. Uh, three short novels. I have Heart of Darkness, Youth, and Typhoon. I have Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides, which is one that I would really like to get to this year. I've heard really great things about that one, so maybe, 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 we'll see. 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is the, the, the one book by Gabriel Garcia Marquez that I really want to read. When Elephants Weep by Jeffrey Mason and Susan McCarthy, The Emotional Lives of Animals. I almost picked this up the other day, but then I didn't. I read a different, I started reading a different book featuring elephants. I was just in the mood to read about elephants, so that's what I'm reading right now. I might read this after, maybe? I have America and Americans by the great John Steinbeck, which I would love to get to this year. It looks beautiful. I have Grayson by Lynn Cox, which is about a whale and I, that's all I know. I have Morning Fire by Scott Ridley, Under the Jolly Roger by L.A. Meyer, which is another book in the Bloody Jack series. I don't know which book in the series, but it's a book in the series. To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I have Becoming Steve Jobs by D -D -D Brent Schlender and Rick Tetzeli. I butchered that. The evolution of a reckless upstart into a visionary leader. The mammoth book of sea battles. Great stories and classic tales from the golden age of naval warfare. This just looks amazing. I have The Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera. Gotta get to that one. I have Her Name, Titanic by Charles Pellegrino. It's blurred by Stephen King. The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut. The Island of Dr. Morrow by H.G. Wells. I want to get to this one this year for sure. I have Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, another one that I really want to get to this year because he wrote Treasure Island and I love Treasure Island. The Acts of King Arthur and His Noble Knights by John Steinbeck. He wrote a fantasy and I need to read it. I'm really excited for that one. Aku Aku by Thora Heyerdahl, who wrote uh, Kantiki, which I really enjoyed. So looking forward to this one. T.S. Eliot, The Wastelands and Other Poems. Then I have Caribbean by James A. Mickener. Mickener, I think? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I have The Swarm by Frank Schatzing. I don't know if I said that right. The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. Um, I still don't own the first one. Well, I did Once Upon a Time and then I got rid of it and now I need to get the first one so I could read this one. Moving on. Uh, then I have Castle of Water by Dane Hucklebridge. I have Landfalls by Naomi, Naomi J. Williams. Um, can you see? No. It's really pretty. It's like a sideways ship. I have The French Prize by James L. Nelson. The French Prize. The Odyssey of KP2 by Terry M. Williams. Songs, Song for the Blue Ocean. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, the book slid and then it hit the tripod and then I thought there was gonna be a big ol' kapoo camera falling, but it didn't happen. Uh, Song for the Blue Ocean by Carl Safina. I have a John Steinbeck biography, which I really wanna start, but I, haven't. I have the first two books in the Artemis Fowl series, which I have read these two just forever ago, so I would like to reread them soon before the movie. I have Some Things Alive on the Titanic by Robert Serling. Sterling. Serling. Serling. The Rats by James Herbert, which I'm so excited to read. Um, I'm supposed to buddy read this with Mark from Words Words Everywhere, so hopefully that happens soon because I really want to read this. Rebecca by Daphne, Daphne de Maurier? Daphne, de, I don't know how to say her name. Serendipity. Uh, this is an ecologist's quest to understand nature by James A. Estes. I have The Watch That Ends the Night, Voices from the Titanic by Alan Wolf. This one looks gorgeous. I have I Loved You More by T -T Tom Spanbauer. The Midwick Cuckoos by John Wyndham. My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante, which I don't know. I, I really want to pick this one up soon because 
It's just people really love it or they hate it. Uh, sea Change, Alone Across the Atlantic in a Wooden Boat by Peter Nichols. I have Charles Bukowski, Slouching Toward Nirvana, a collection of poems. The Sea Around Us by Rachel Carson. Pirate Hunters, Treasure, Obsession, and the Search for a Legendary Pirate Ship by Robert Curson. And I read one of his books last year called Shadow Divers, which I really enjoyed, so hopefully um, that one is also really good as well. Next, I have The Complete Idiot's Guide to Pirates. This is great. I need this in my life. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. The Snow Leopard by Peter M Matheson? Matheson? I don't know. Collected stories of Carson McCullers, which includes The Member of the Wedding and The Ballad of the Sad Cafe. I also have Hannibal by Thomas Harris, which I would like to read before his new book releases sometime this year. It has nothing to do with Hannibal, but I would just like to read more Thomas Harris before reading his new book. Why? I don't know. I have The Cruel Sea by Nicholas Montserrat. Montserrat, I don't know how to say that, but it's The Cruel Sea. Uh, this is a beautiful book that was a gift from Sam. Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. <laughs> Libriomancer by Jim C. Hines. This one looks absolutely ridiculous, but I really want to read this one soon. It looks like so much fun. I have another Jack Sparrow book here that I don't know how it got here when it should be over there. Under the Sea Wind by Rachel Carson, Operation Cure Boredom by Dan Martin, Atlantic by Simon Winchester. This is great sea battles, heroic discoveries, titanic storms, and a vast a vast ocean of a million stories. And then I have Skeleton Crew by Stephen King. This is a collection, I think, of his short stories. I have the new story of, no, the story of the New England Whalers by John R. Spears. Um, and I know nothing about it except it's about New England Whalers, but it was so beautiful, so I bought it. Meg Generations by Steve Alton. Now, this book came out months ago. People are going to be really surprised as to why I have not read this considering it's my favorite series. This is the newest book. What is wrong with me? And I don't know. I have a couple books by Max Hawthorne. This is Kraken and this is Kraken Volume 2. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Sailing Alone Around the World by Joshua Slocum. Rocket Boys by Henry, no, Homer A. Chicken Jr., which I started and then forgot about because I am the worst. You Suck, A Love Story by Christopher Moore. The Deep by Peter Benchley. Michael Crichton, Timeline. TB, Typey, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, by Herman Melville. This was a gift from Sharkbait recently. Stephen King goes to the movies. And finally, lastly, this stack of books is the books that I featured in the books that I must read in 2019 video. So if you've seen that, then this is kind of pointless. But we've got Kings of the Wild and the sequel by Nicholas Eames. I have The Terror by Dan Simmons. I have The Sea Wolf by Jack London. I have Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. I have The Golden Age of Piracy, The Truth Behind Pirate Myths by Benerson Little. I have For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. Uh, the Complete Poems by Samuel, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, Kronos Rising by Max Hawthorne, um, and Woods Woman by Anne Lovestill. Those are all the books. Those are all my unread books. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I don't want to edit this video. This is going to be a million minutes long. I just know it. Anyway, those are all my unread books. <sighs> so many. Clearly, I really need to prioritize reading the books that I own. If you have read any of these books that I have shown today, uh, what do you think I should get to first? Please list them down below. What are your thoughts and opinions? Talk with me, blah blah blah. Also, if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background, it's because there's just a lot of wind. It's very scary outside right now. So that's that. Anyway, I should go. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!